Okay. Uh, which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? A 45-year-old man presents to the clinic with a six-month history of progressive shortness of breath and fatigue. He also reports orthopnea and paroxysmal uh, nocturnal dyspnea. His medical history is significant for a recent upper respiratory infection. There is peripheral edema, jugular venous distension, reveals a S3 gallop, as well as cardiomegaly and uh, bilateral pulmonary congestion. So six month history, it's a chronic condition. Um, just based off of his symptoms, such as the peripheral edema, JVD, um, I would guess, that he, and the um, like pulmonary congestion, he's probably in, um, what should we call it, heart failure mm -hmm. sort of situation. And then with the S3 sound, um, I would associate S3 sounds with like a dilated cardiomyopathy, athletes, um, or elderly people okay. as well. Um, so what is the most likely diagnosis? Um, let's see. I don't necessarily think it's a pulmonary embolism okay. since I think that would be more of an acute situation, uh, restrictive cardiomyopathy or pericardial effusion, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. I like, let me see. Um, of these, I would say dilated cardiomyopathy. Okay. Uh, Final answer. Yes. Yeah, good. Perfect. Beautiful, right? So it's a six months of chronic issue, relatively, I mean, relatively young male, right? Um, orthopnea, paragnosis, dysmia. So it looks like, you know, congestion, right? Uh, or congestive heart failure symptoms, right? Um, can't lie sleeping down, coughing, et cetera, right? Um, when lying down. And then medical history is recent upper respiratory infection. So this is key. So remember, viral infections can cause... Um, cardiomyopathies, right? And in particular, dilated cardiomyopathies. Does it make sense? Yes. Okay. It's not going to give you the, um, it's not going to give you that uh, left ventricular hypertrophy or anything like that. That's more of like high blood pressure and things like that. Um, but drugs, viruses, et cetera, right? That's going to give you dilated cardiomyopathy. So that's going to give you a hint there. And still they're giving you more physical exam, um, you know, peripheral edema, jugular venous distension. That's just all heart failure stuff, right? And yes. then um, cardiac auscultation reviews S3, right? Usually it's because of a larger, um, a larger heart usually. And so that's going to kind of fit with your, um, dilated cardiomyopathy. Mm -hmm.